Here is the table to the phylogenies question on the worksheet from the discussion section today. Um, and we knew that we know that we had some information from Dr. Van Dusen's notes of some changes that, or of sorry, of the um, nucleotide base pairs of these positions. So position two, three, and five, and six, we had A, C, T, G. And so I've gone through and marked some of the differences here for A, uh, which changed from adenine to thymine here in one, two, three, four, five, six species. And then we changed from um, cytosine to adenine in one, two, three, four species. And then I'm going to go through and do the same thing for the other two. So I'm seeing thymine change to guanine, these two species, and I'm seeing a change to cytosine from guanine in these two species. All right. And so instead of doing what I had started to do in class, I actually think making a separate um, note sheet for this is a little bit easier and I'm going to use my um, tablet that hooks up very conveniently over here. Yeah, else my handwriting will be a lot better if I do that. Okay, so I also want to point out that we see from the phylogeny tree that there are some groups that are broken up here and I, um, as I covered in the lecture as well, I'm sorry, not in the lecture, the discussion section, if you remember from lecture, our ancestor will be down here. So this is the ATCG, uh, if that was right, I think it was. Um, and then our, we, so we have a couple different groups here that are splitting off with some of these different traits, right? So here we have three traits that have changed for four different species. And now here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different traits that have changed for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different species, right? So I'm gonna keep that in mind as I start to look at the different traits from the table. Okay, so now I'm going to start to look at what exactly is going on for and see if I can come up with some groups with these different changes um, based on these traits. And so we can see now from this table on the left that I have some commonalities starting to occur for these nucleotide base pair changes, right? So here I have three species that have gone from a T to an A, and here's another one that has gone from a T uh, to a T and an A in positions two and three. And those are the only ones I'm seeing that have done that. And then I also see a T to a G, that looks like it might be a T in position one and a G in position um, three that are changes. And then this one over here, I'm going to make it a little bit different shape so we can come back and look at that later. Um, so I have two in that group, this G um, and T change. And then I'm looking here too, and then in my position six, I have a change to a cytosine for these two species down here. I'll make those a triangle. And they also have the rest of their um, base pairs as the same. So I'm going to start with that as I take some notes on the right side. So I'm going to say that I have a group of 
what did I say here? Four for uh, position two and three. So at two, we have a change from A to T. And at position three, we have that change from C to A. And so the species I'm going to list over here. So I'm going to put the changes, or I guess trait commonalities. Up at the top here. And then the species that have this in common. So as I mentioned, I have four species that have this, these changes at positions two and three. So we have L. adamiris, M. robusta, L. hippophae, and what was the last one? N. cardui. Okay. And now for my positions. Um, the other ones I looked at having some commonalities are positions two. Um, A to T and position five um, T to G. And that is going to be P um, Brassicaceae and a monisti. Okay. Let's see, there were two more that I have a change in positions. Um, six. And so we're going from a G to a C. And that was for Bombyx mori and our new species that we don't know the name of. All right, so now I have that information down. And next I am going to look at another really common trait that I'm seeing over here on the right side under physical and behavioral traits, which is clubbed antennae. And so I'm seeing that P. brassicaceae, L. adamiris, M. robusta, I'm just going to write them instead of saying them all out loud and you can just follow along. All right, so I have quite a lot of these species with clubbed antennae. And so I'm going to go ahead and look at a next one that I'm seeing has several species in it, and that is the plumos antennae. And so for the plumos antennae, B. ventilaria, um, Bombyx mori, the new species, I think that's it, so I have one, two, three, three species with 
um, with Plumos and Tenny. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the um, phylog phylogeny tree and look at this. So if you remember the list that I made here, I'm going to count this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, one. Eight, right? <laughs> Gosh. Eight. So there are eight species there with clubbed antennae. And if you remember here before, um, I know that there are eight species on this side of the phylogenetic tree. And that's the only trait that has that many species in it. So I know that this one right here is going to be clubbed antennae. And so I'm looking at now I have another group of four that won't have clubbed antennae because it's over on this side of the phylogenetic tree. So their antennae are going to, I'm sorry, their trait is going to be, um, their defining trait will be this C trait. And so I'm going to go back to my list here, knowing that I don't have all the traits listed down here yet. But I just want to go ahead and look and see that I have several species um, up here with these trait changes of C to A at position three. If you'll notice too, these guys are the same with this position two, A to T. So I'm gonna mostly look at the C to A because they're the ones that have this trait over here. And then I'm gonna go back to my table and see are there any other traits that are listed four times. Got the dorsal nectary gland. I'm seeing that two times. I have reduced four legs. I'm seeing that two times. My forked ostershum oster sorry ostershum. Um osmerterium on the larvae I'm seeing that two times. Um, and then I'm also seeing that we have some nocturnal species here. So how many do we have of nocturnal? I have one here, two, three, four. Ah, so I also have four nocturnal species. So if we go back to this, um, I have a group of four here. Um, that so we know that these will have plumos antennae somewhere. Pen doesn't want to work. That's fine. Um, I don't think my PowerPoint's responding. So the plumos antennae will be on this side, but we also have a couple groups of four over here as well. So. I'm thinking that the um, nocturnal species will be one of those groups of four. So let's see if that makes any sense. So do any of these nocturnal species have plumos antennae? Yes, they do. But one of them also has a slender antennae. So we know that all of these species are going to be going on the left side, right? So we have another group of four that is the nocturnal. So we're going to put that here. And since the plumos antennae is not a group of four, it's a group of three, right? Two, three, and that's it. We can then notice that there is, um, A group of two, sorry, there we know that there's a group of two here with this trait, a group here that doesn't have a trait listed aside from C, and then a group here. But we do know that this is the, the plumos group, so this doesn't make sense for the plumos antennae to actually be a trait on the side, even though we know that these are indeed the insects with the plumos antennae. But we do know we only have one on the side 
that will have the slender antennae. And so since that is a trait here, I have no idea why it's not letting me write. Okay, there it goes. I'm going to say that this is the slender antennae group. And so then I have to go back to the to the table and see if I can figure out um, if the insects with plumose antennae have something in common aside from that. And so I already have two marked here as having this position T, uh, G to C rather, at position six. And so that makes sense with this side that this would be my 